The road trip continues for Team Action Sports Jacks up in somewhere in Ohio in a nondescript hotel room. As for Ashlyn Sullivan, she just got back from her quick road trip over to Mobile, Alabama, a stop at the Senior Bowl, and that's where we start Cover 3 this week. You had the chance to see a lot of the student-athletes in action. Let's get your take. Who do you want the Jaguars to draft from those players you saw? Yes, this is a little bit of a curveball, but I'm going with Quinn Meisners, who's an offensive lineman, Division Three, out of the University of Wisconsin, Whitewater. So I know you're scratching your head, but we were watching one-on-one drills, O-line versus D-line, and this man was throwing defensive linemen on the ground, and we're looking at each other like, who is this guy? And then we look, and he's a Division Three player. Then he walks out of the drills, and he's rocking a crop top like Ezekiel Elliott. He weighed in at over 300 and 20 pounds has the confidence to rock a crop top. Sign me up. Say no more. Need this guy on the Jaguars roster. All right. Well, hopefully one of the guys he was tossing around wasn't Marvin Wilson, because that's the way I'm going <laughs> with this pick, the defensive tackle out of Florida State. Yes, I know his stock has dropped since last year, but I think it's the things outside of the playing time that really play into this pick. You talk about a guy who's a leader on that team and the social justice reforms in Tallahassee and played a big leadership role in the locker room. I think if you go with Trevor Lawrence with that first pick, then you get a guy like Marvin Wilson on the defensive side as a young leader, somebody who can certainly play a role in this team for years to come. So I just mentioned Trevor Lawrence. Our next step is, well, if you had to describe Trevor Lawrence in one word, what would it be? For me, I'm going to go with the word servant. He is a servant leader. And that's a word we heard a lot is servant from his Mm -hmm. former coach, up there in Cartersville, Georgia, who we just talked to the other day, and Connor Foster, the head coach now at Cartersville. He was very adamant on the fact that Trevor Lawrence is going to want to be that leader, be that servant leader, and serve alongside his teammates, not only on the field, but also in the community. So I'll go with servant as my one word to describe Trevor Lawrence. Love to hear that you're going off the field. I'm going on the field and it's generational. And that's a term that a lot of times we throw that around too freely. But the last time someone called someone a generational true quarterback was Andrew Luck back in 2012. And after being at the Senior Bowl, all the analysts, all the agents, everyone is saying that this guy, Trevor Lawrence, is as close to Andrew Luck since nine years ago. And that term generational quarterback, he is that. So definitely on the field, off the field, he is checking all the boxes. Final topic for cover three, and it relates to Urban Meyer. We know he's working hard on putting that staff together and Mm -hmm. on the football side of things. But what do you think is the number one thing Urban needs to do outside of the football, of course? For all we know, he might have already done this because Tyler Eifert, before he even signed his free agent deal, I'm pretty sure was golfing at Sawgrass and getting in a few holes. But Urban Meyer, once he has the coaching staff buttoned up, he needs to go enjoy a few holes at Sawgrass, maybe get a Sawgrass splash or two and become a true Jacksonville resident in doing so. I like that. I know he has played there quite a few times in Tim Tebow's celebrity tournament each and every year. For me, this week, we had a chance in Columbus, Ohio to visit Urban's Pint House. He's got a restaurant in Columbus. (laughs) And let me tell you, we need one in Jacksonville, having visited that thing and seeing how cool it was, how hopping the the atmosphere was in there, all these trophies, all the accomplishments on the walls. If that doesn't inspire confidence in a coach, I don't know what will. So Urban's Pint House, we need one in Northeast Florida. Let's get it done. You like that idea? Count me in for the Pint House. I will be there. All right. So we'll be here again next week as well for another edition of Cover 3. Ashlyn Sullivan from Jaguars.com. Thanks so much. Thank you. Action Sports Jacks Primetime, Saturday at 10.30 on Box 30.